Hello, <laughs> my name is Frank O'Connor. What can I say? Uh, I'm a weird person. I'm just writing, well, several books, but two of them describe how it is to be like not quite normal, like at a distance from regular society. I like talking to your psychologist, but I'm actually talking to myself and writing it down. So the cool thing about that is being odd as a word, that's a wrong word, but I'd like to think that the art I do is slightly different because I have no clue what a normal person is thinking. And what's going on here, this is a painting that I did maybe last year, I think. But the cool thing is, this is a painting. Yep. This is an oil on canvas. It's 18 by 24 inches, painted in 1968. I've never taken an art course in my life. It's my second semester of junior year in college. And this is an exact copy of that painting. It's, uh, I took a picture, printed it on canvas, and stretched it on non-stretchable canvas. So it's like a little warped as the canvas would it stretch. So really, partly it's about not having any, any knowledge of art, and partly it's about how my brain has changed over the course of a long time. Just coming back to it, just looking for something to do, it, it's a change of pace. Um, I can backtrack a little. When I started painting, my idols were people like Frank Stella, um, who I liked a lot, and that sort of school of New York painting. Now, what I don't like about Frank Stella was he he did paintings that wanted to deny that the color meant something. So he chose eccentric colors to like not have green refer to grass or blue sky, that sort of thing. I'm kind of the opposite of that. I want the colors to refer, in a sense. Refer in the sense that your brain automatically reads it. But in my paintings, I will change it so it contradicts what your brain wants to see. Um, this is out of the ordinary in the sense I don't really paint like this. I actually paint primarily squares. And what I like to think is um, I paint variations on how squares can be squares with color added. It. It, it's sort of like anti-Stella, but it's like, to me, it's like an analog to Robert Lyman, who made his career out of painting white paintings. He worked as a guard at the Museum of Modern Art. And he saw this great painting every day, and he decided that, well, the painting is really about the painting. It's not, the subject matter is not really pertinent. So his thing is white, and my thing is squares. <laughs> so I paint squares. But this is like the idea, like, if this were a square, this would be like a copy of the same square. So in a perverted way, it's how can the same thing change over time? With, by that, kind of like Monet or someone taking pictures or painting the same scene over and over again, it will change with nature. And in a sense, squares are very boring and easy. Sometimes I'll do freehand, sometimes I'll do tape, but it's amazing how many billions of combinations you can do without even thinking very hard. Um, I, do computer art too, and I don't know if you knew it, an average computer has 60 million colors. That's a lot of colors. So like, if I were a computer, I, I couldn't even use all those colors. So I'm just a normal person, relatively normal, looking at nature and trying to use color in a way that is not quite representative. Um, and I'm gonna back up a little bit and say partly the reason I'm doing this talk is to see if I can talk at all. I haven't been able to talk normally for only since about 15 years ago. I grew up with a very bad speech problem. I taught at Binghamton University in 1981. It was the worst experience of my life. And I kind of shut down and withdrew from the world. And only recently have I, I'm barely an extrovert, but partly it's kind of a joke. I'm so old, I'm nearly dead, so all the bad things that are could happen have already happened in this incidental drug that I'm taking for something else has helped my speech. So I'm able to sort of pass for normal, <laughs> but I'm still withdrawn from the world and I rarely talk to people I don't know. Um, I don't, in a sense, I don't even consider my art art. I, 
I'm not really big on a lot of what the all white nice is doing, so I like to think I'm doing near art. I'm in a neighborhood, but I'm not on board with, you know, the commodification and gigantization of art and things like that. And I think I'm going to stop now because my brain is starting to go into overdrive, which is a result of my brain not talking. Start talking and can't shut up, so I am going to just stop now. Thank you. Thank you, Craig.